Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about how to draw equilateral triangle using a ruler and a protractor. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now you need to remember this one class that an equilateral triangle has three equal sides and three equal angles. So the sides must be equal and the interior angles must be congruent. So always remember this one class that the sum of interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So any kinds of triangle, so let me just draw a triangle. So any kinds of triangle, okay, the sum of these interior angles, if you add these interior angles, it should be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, since we need to draw an equilateral triangle, therefore each interior angle must be 60 degrees. Because 60 plus 60, that's 120, plus another 60, that would be 180 degrees. So once again, an equilateral triangle, it has three equal sides, and each interior angle must be congruent. So that would be 60 degrees. Alright, so let's start. So first thing to do is we draw this side, first side. So we have given side that is 5 cm. Once again, each side must be congruent. So we have given side that is 5 cm. So draw horizontal line that is 5 cm. Alright, so this is 5 cm. Horizontal line, this will be our first side. Alright, so I hope you see this one test. We have 0, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 centimeter. Alright, so our first side, 5 centimeter. So we can label this one as this is our point A, and this will be our point B. So line segment AB. Alright, and then we draw an angle that is 60 degrees from this point A. So from this point A, we draw 60 degrees angle. So once again, align the center part of your protractor in this given point A. So this will be the center part of your protractor. And then you align 0 in this horizontal line. Once again, align the center part of your protractor in this point A. And then you align 0 in this horizontal line. Your angle forms like this. Alright, so this is the center part of your protractor. And then we align 0 in this horizontal line. And then you will be using the inner numbers for the angle. So we have 10. So starting from 0, once again, we have two numbers. We have 0 and then 180. Use the inner numbers class. So we have 0, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then 60. So this one right here. Alright, so I hope you see this one class. So we have 0, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then 60 degrees. Alright, so this will be our guide for the third side. Alright, so, so you can sketch this one. This is not yet our final answer class. We just need to sketch this one because we need to have the intersection for this another line. So once again, in this given point B, we have an angle right here. Alright, another angle that is 60 degrees. So from your protractor, you align the center part of your protractor in this point B. And then you align 0 in this particular line because your angle forms like this. Alright, so this will be the center part of our protractor, this point B. And then we align 0 in this horizontal line. And then we will be using the outer numbers for the angles. So center part, once again, center part of our protractor here in this point B. And then we align 0 in this horizontal line. Alright, so we align 0 and this will be the center part. So, we will be using the outer numbers for the angles. So, 0, starting from 0, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then 60. Alright, so this one right here, class. So, this will be our guide. Alright, and then you connect this one using your ruler. Alright, so use your ruler. Alright, so that's it. So you can erase this one, the excess lines, and this will be our point C. So it, the intersection, that would be your vertex C. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you draw equilateral triangle. So you need to check class if this is really 5 cm. Once again, each side must be 5 cm. Three equal sides and then interior angles must be congruent. So let's check if this is 5 cm. Yep, exactly 5 cm. Yep, exactly 5 cm. 
So you can finalize your answer with a ball pen. So this is exactly 5 cm. How about this one? Yep, exactly 5 cm for side BC. Alright, so exactly 5 cm for side BC. And another 5 cm for side AB. Alright, so finalize our answer. So we have A, B, then C. So 5 cm for side BC, 5 cm for side AB, 5 cm for side AC. And this will be 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and then 60 degrees. That's it, class. All set. So that's how you draw an equilateral triangle using the protractor and the ruler. So I hope you learned something new today. So the next part of our video will be how to draw a square using a ruler and a protractor. And I will just put the link on the description down below. So I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.